Hey guys, it's Bro you Wax. So as all of you guys know, the anniversary update happened for Overwatch on Tuesday, so I feel like I had a good enough time just to get a good general opinion about the event and also to bring this video to you guys because I try to do this with every single event, just asking guys, do you think that this is the best event that Overwatch has ever had or is it possibly the worst event? Now, I feel like this event is a little bit, I don't want to say unfair, but it just, the way that it went about and how things were brought about this event is a little bit different for how the previous events were because the system goes as the following. With the Summer Games event, there was a a bunch of cosmetic skins, there was a game mode, and then usually a map was remade that was brought about in the Halloween update where they just completely remade Hollywood and then that system usually followed suit. They followed with the Halloween event and then they followed with the Winter Wonderland update and then Chinese New Year update and then Uprising is where it got a little bit different to where it didn't celebrate a real world experience or like a real world celebration. With Summer Games it was Olympics, Winter Wonderland it was Christmas, so on and so forth. So that was where things were a little bit different but it still brought like a brand new game mode or or at least it was like a PvE type of game mode. With this new anniversary update, there was no brand new game modes. So this is where it's just a little bit different. However, I feel like because it was just lacking in the game mode department that it just executed a lot of other skins or just a lot of better cosmetic items because they focused more or less on the on that side of an event. However, there was like a kind of a rule set remade for the 3v3s and 1v1s. If you guys didn't know, pretty much when you win, win a round with three heroes, you can't play those heroes. And plus also they added brand new maps to that rotation so I'm all down for you know event game mode that probably won't be that great as compared to maybe like Junkenstein's Revenge or maybe the Uprising event for even better maps for something that's going to be in the base game from years on end so that's where it's like okay I'm totally down for you guys not adding a different type of game mode and just wasting your time doing that where you can just make a game mode that's already going to be in the game even better but if we want to look at the cosmetic side of things because I feel like this is what makes an event an event what makes it a great event is where the skins are, the highlight and shows, the victory poses, you know, those types of things that we spend money on our loot boxes for, and ultimately gets disappointed because of the duplicates. Man, let me just tell you guys, can I rant for a little bit? How are you gonna get a duplicate event skin and only get 200 credits for that? Like, that should at least be 500 credits. One, you already break my heart because I get a duplicate of a skin I already have, and now I only get 200 credit when I could have just gotten a duplicate from a regular item skin? Bruh, that, that was just my rant of the day, but if we just want to look at the cosmetic side of things, just taking a look at the Summer Games event, there was 13 total skins, and then the Halloween update, there was 12 total skins. Winter one Wonderland, there was 12. The Chinese New Year update, there was 13. Uprising, surprisingly, there was only 10 total skins, and Torbjorn got two of those skins, so I don't know, I just thought that was kind of weird, unless I counted wrong, but then the anniversary update happened, and there was 11 total skins, and what I mean by total skins, I mean that counts also like legendary and the epic skins. However, with the one year anniversary update, there was 11 legendary skins. There were no epic skins. E each of the skins that were added to this were legendary, each with 3,000 credits, which some people wanted to complain about and whatnot, thinking that it should be a little bit less, like maybe 2,000 credits, which, you know, the cheaper the better, but I can totally see why they just want to charge it for 3,000 but the fact that they brought 11 brand new legendary skins I think is just a great idea because honestly if we just want to look at all the skins I know I'm a little bit biased maybe towards the May skin thinking that that's probably my favorite out of them but if we would just want to look at every single skin that was brought in this event honestly I think they were all unique and just all spectacular the the tracer one was a great with her graffiti very unique to her punk style if we want to look at soldier he looks like a million years old but he's still kicking butt with his bionic feet we want to look at Zara sure a lot of people really didn't like it but then some people also really did love it I don't know she looked like a like a cybernetic a titan from destiny that's just my kind of opinion on it and then we look at Genji if we want to just look at every single hero that got a legendary skin it's unique it's awesome it's cybernetic it's just spectacular and it fits the category of a legendary skin or as compared to maybe the Christmas May skin which was a legendary people really got butt hurt and pissed off that that was 3,000 credits also so I feel like in the skin department and the cosmetic side of things it was just spectacular, but at the cost of also highlight intros and victory poses. If you guys didn't know, there were no highlight intros and victory poses for any of the heroes, whereas usually there was some for every single event. But again, it's just trade-offs. It's just trade-offs where, okay, do you want 11 awesome legendary skins, or do you want mediocre skins and also some good highlight intros? Not to even mention the other items that also came with this event, the dance emotes. I'm not a big fan of the emotes usually, but when every single hero gets some sort of just special dance, like the dad dance with Soldier 
Series 6 or when Mei, when she's a more reserved girl, gets some sort of awesome little dance or maybe even Diva with her unique mech dance. I am so down for that. Like that, It's just stuff like that that they didn't have to do. They could have just thrown together even just more sprays or just more voice lines, but they didn't. So they just added more uh, just dopeness, just more awesomeness to <laughs> the emotes. And I know I'm using terrible adjectives, but honestly, when it comes to an event that's literally just all cosmetics and maybe just a few maps at the cost of a game mode, it's okay when they have stuff like this. If every single event follows forth with the the effort that this event brought forth as terms of the awesomeness of the skins, as terms of the just cuteness and adorableness for the dances, and even the sprays, I didn't even mention the sprays when each and every single hero gets a special card spray, and also even the player icons. The player icons are one of the things that people actually hate to get in their loot boxes, but when you can get your main for the gold portrait, I think that's also cool. If every single event follows forth with the with the effort that this event brought forth, I think it's going to just make every single event even better. Because if we want to look at maybe the Christmas event, lots of people got butthurt with the May skin because they thought it was just thrown together, a reskin, and they just gave her a hat, and boom, here's a legendary. If we want to look at the Uprising event with the Torbjorn skin, even him getting two skins that aren't honestly that great, and there's going to be someone out there that totally loves the Torbjorn skins, but for a majority of us, I'm sure most of us really don't like that skin. If the Summer Games event, if the Halloween event, event in the future that's going to be brought back if you can have unique awesome special skins unique to their players like if we want to look at the Lucio skin he just looks like a jazz band right there he's going to pump up the volume and just give us a party if every single event can bring that I think it's just going to make events even better than the anniversary one because I love this cosmetic skins that's just what brings me forth to Overwatch is just the players just the players like the hero diversity I've never played a video game so just diverse with the hero Hero cast in my whole entire life. I know there's Street Fighter, I know there's like Mortal Kombat, but it's all the heroes in Overwatch. This might sound cringy, but are all cute, all adorable. If you see the Reaper in the in the in the Soldier 76 memes and just stuff like that, even they can be cute sometimes. And I think that's what's so special about an event like the anniversary update is that yes, it is all cosmetics, but I'm so totally okay with it because that's what I love about an event. But maybe you guys' opinions are different. Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you didn't like about the the anniversary update if you hated it if you loved it or if you like the other events even more like the summer games or maybe you like the Christmas update let me know what your favorite ones are and if you want to see maybe a game mode or if you just want to see more cosmetic items I would love to see that so love you guys thank you guys for watching and bye